Hello and welcome. My name is Ivan Boyer and I am one of the architects in technical business development here at Palo Alto Networks. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Ansible with our custom Palo Alto Networks Ansible modules to implement firewall security policy change management process. For those that might not be aware, Ansible is the uh, configuration and the orchestration tool which can be used to provision and configure Palo Alto Networks devices in cloud as well as in a physical environment. Our Ansible library is open sourced and freely available at our GitHub page, as well as part of the commercial Red Hat Ansible distribution. For the support or more information about Palo Alto Networks Ansible modules, you can go to our live page or any of the following links. All the files for the following tutorial can be downloaded from our GitHub page. Okay, so let's go. Um, first, let's look at our firewall configuration and especially the security policies. As we can see, there are really no security policies defined besides the one that are defined by default. Let's refresh the screen. Okay, as we can see, you now there's really nothing else going on. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to look into the, uh, the folder where we downloaded all our files. And what we'll see here, there are really two files that we care about. One is local.yaml and one is the wars.yaml. These are the two files that you have to change and based on changes and being detected in them, Ansible will push the uh, configuration to the firewall. So let's look at the um, first file. So there is nothing special about this file. This is a file that, that, which defines one uh, security rule, um, which will uh, pretty much forward any SSH traffic to the internal host at the address dot one. So let's run the Ansible pull command and see what happens. Okay. So this is the command you need to run. paste. So let's see what's in this file. So the first command just calls the same Ansible pull command every five seconds. So this is just a way for you to assure that you know command is being invoked every five seconds. There are many different tools or commands that can be used for this purpose or you can even write your own script but this is an easy way to do it. And then the really the command that you want to run is called Ansible pull. And the parameter that you have to give to it is the uh, download directory, which is the directory that will be used to download the local YAML file I showed you on the left side and all the other files that need to be downloaded from the uh, repository and the URL of the repository itself. This is the uh, uh, repo where all the files are being located. This is the repo usually internal to the company where all your playbooks are being stored. Uh, and this is the repo that you know you want to change when you want to apply different security policies to the uh, set of your firewalls. So I'm going to execute this command. So what's going on at this point? Um, this command will uh, download the um, the repository, and then it will look into the firewall and detect any changes between the playbook and the firewall. Uh, if you remember when we looked at the firewall, there were no policies set there. So what's going to happen right now? This, uh, this command will set the first firewall rule, which is you know forwarding all the SSH traffic to the 1111 on the firewall. At this point, it's done. So let's take a peek at the firewall and make sure that it's been executed. All right, let's refresh. And here we go. The new rule is there. You know, source, destination, this is our host 1111. All set. So let's look at the playbook itself. This is the playbook on the left side. It's pretty simple and describes this security rule. So what's going on at this point is that every five seconds uh, the answer will check for the uh, changes in a playbook and if there are none it's going to do anything but if it does detect changes it will execute those changes against the firewall. So usually the process would go that the security admin would get changes approved, would go to the playbook, 
uh, do the changes, necessary changes for it. So let's just change something to uh, let's say we want to update the, this rule. Obviously, you could add a new rule or delete this rule, do something else. But let's say we want to update it. And when you update it so that it actually points to the right destination IP, which is in this case dot two and not dot one. So let's save this playbook. Um, we're gonna add it to repository. So pretty much add the all the uh, deltas to the repository. We're going to update the destination server host. Okay, and we're going to push this rule to our repository. So once I push this rule to the repository, uh, what's going to happen, the script on the right side will detect the changes, will download the new playbook and apply it against the firewall. Okay, so let's look what happens. So it takes every five seconds, plus minus a couple more seconds, depending on, on, on the uh, how quickly you can download the files. And the one thing to note with this particular rule uh, a tool I'm using to uh, to call our Ansible every five seconds, this tool will show you output only when it's done. That's a little bit downside of this tool, but other than that, it's really easy to use. So give it a second. See detected the changes and figure out okay I need to push the new policy to the firewall so now it's done so let's look at the firewall so this is the old one you gotta refresh the UI and bam there we go the address has changed for from 1111 to 1112 so this is the way how you can definitely detect the change logs and how you can manage it uh, in, in two different ways. Number one, the uh, the repository that we are using here is just a GitHub repository. It doesn't have to be GitHub repository. Uh, it has a certain permission, so you can control the permissions and who can check into that. You can also then see who has done what kind of changes between two um, check-ins, etc., etc. And every time the change has been detected, Ansible will pull the changes and deploy them against the firewall. This concludes our tutorial.